Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the HCW Arena here in Liberty, Missouri. We have HCW action as we'll get it started off with Peter Sinclair currently in the ring as he'll take on the newest member of the Fortunate Sons, Joshua Osborne, here tonight. I can't wait to see and get this live look at the brand new member of the Fortunate Sons. Here comes Joshua Osborne to his way to the ring. Out of Grand Rapids, Iowa. This youngster looks ready to go. The fourth and final member of the Fortunate Sons. As you see him sporting the United States flag on the back. Because it is indeed. Three nations united. Canada, the United States, and England. As Jordan Marks is not here tonight. The tag team champions have apparently left. Joshua Osborne all by himself, so he will have to do battle alone in this ring against Peter Sinclair. Peter Sinclair, Joshua Osborne ready, senior referee John Hesch rings the bell and we are ready to go here in HCW. Peter Sinclair immediately elegate with a Michinoku driver. Now double knuckles right to the head of Joshua Osborne. Peter Sinclair taking place in the KCPW World Championship Tournament. I'm the first ever KCPW champion. As you see some of our new sponsors along with one of our older ones, our brain buster right there by Josh Osborne and Jim Marvel's Marvelous Motorville. Thank you for sponsoring. He is a key member of the HCW community. Also, we have Royal Blue Bar and Grill. That's right, Cold Storm and Brett Lear started a bar and grill in the City of Liberty. And of course, Cot Counseling in Columbia, Missouri. And of course, CCTV 8, Channel 18, here in Liberty. Joshua Osborne has taken control of this match. As he's got a guillotine applied. The guillotine is locked in tight right there. However, he is able to fight out of it and flips, and oh, he should have gone for a pin there. However, he does not. Enziguri misses by Joshua Osborne. Into the corner. Osborne gets spun around by Sinclair. Nice punch there by Sinclair. A punch to the back. He has him up in electric chair position. Electric chair power bomb by Peter Sinclair. He now is Osborne up. Some bow and drop. Great job there by Peter Sinclair. As Joshua Osborne is on the ropes, quite literally. And he's going to be brought back in the hard way. Now, DDT to bring him back in. A kick right there by Joshua Osborne. Get right back on the advantage. Brings him over. Nice neck breaker right there by Joshua Osborne. Nice European uppercut right there as well. Nice hurricane runner right there. Roundhouse kick gets avoided. And a nice sweep of the lake there by Peter Sinclair. And a kick to the get by Osborne. Fights off that one. And a clothesline over the top rope. See the great sponsors there on the side for HCW as these two are brawling outside the ring. Sinclair reverses and will send him into the corner. He's playing in the crowd here. Making his HCW debut here against Joshua Osborne. He gets set him around again. Count of four by the senior referee, John Hesch. Count of five now. Reversal by Osborne and a fireman's carry. Seven. Count of seven now. Osborne controls the head. Reversed by Sinclair. Controls the head. And a nice snap sequence. Count of eight now. Nine. Count of nine. Sinclair's going to win this match via ring out. He won. Peter Sinclair in his HCW debut. 
picks up the victory over the Fortunate Sons member, Joshua Osborne. What an upset victory by Peter Sinclair, and he'll pick up the victory. What a Fortunate Sons. And ladies and gentlemen, up next, we'll have Chris Crystal make his HCW television debut. Stick right here. We'll be back after these messages. If you have been affected by COVID and are in dire need of food in the Old West, look no further than Duncan Trading Company. We'll deliver somewhat fresh meat to you as quick as we can. Duncan Trade Company, if we don't get it to you on time, then, well, we're probably dead. Fuck you, wolves. Fuck you, wolves. How you doing today, sir? Here's your shipment, Duncan Trading Company. Delivers on time as promised. Honesty, integrity, client confidentiality. These are just some of the things that you can expect here at Thought Counseling in Columbia, Missouri. Located at 65211 Sweet K here in Columbia, Missouri. We are willing to help you in any way that we can. So if you need to schedule an appointment, just dial this toll-free number, 800-298-3950, to schedule an appointment today. Because at Cot Counseling, we care about our customers, not about our customers' money. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to HCW. As Quinn Rice makes his return here to HCW, however, he will have to take on the return of Chris Crystal after starting Los Angeles Wrestling in Los Angeles. He will make his return here at HCW, made his return at the Great American Battle Royal. Now he will have to prove his medal against Quinn Rice. Also in this match, we will have an update on the condition of Brett Lear after he suffered a concussion from this man. There he is, Chris Crystal on his way to the ring. He had not been seen in an HCW ring since 2014 as he makes his return to the blue and white. So he'll take on Quinn Rice here as at Great American Battle Royal in our eight-man contest to decide a number one contender for the HCW Heavyweight Championship for March Madness. He was facing another man in that match who has made his appearance here on HCW television. Brett Lear, the tag team partner of Colt Storm, the Royal Blues, and he laid Brett out with a crystal clear, and that unfortunately gave him a concussion. So let's see if Quinn Rice can stave off the same thing. I have received word on the state of Brett Lear. He is fine. It is a minor concussion, and he will be back in action at HCW in about two weeks. So we wish him the best and luck in a speedy recovery as Chris Crystal goes to work immediately on the arm of Quinn Rice. He has him up. It'll be a nice vertical suplex. Yes. Great job there by Chris Crystal. The cover immediately. One. Can't get anything else but a one count off that. Nice right hand right there by Chris Crystal. And another straight right hand. He's now going to work the leg. Chris Crystal with a modified figure four right there. Great job by a man out of Sacramento, California. What's up, Quinn Rice? Side slam. Well done there by Chris Crystal. 
as Gordon Rice will go to the outside. Right hand connects, and another, and a third right hand. Rice gets picked up, and a massive clothesline by Crystal. Another right hand. There's still a side headlock takeover by Crystal. Just squeezing the head, and as a count of four right now by the referee, John Hash. Rice, however, will sling him back into the ring. Axe handle connects. Picks up Quinn Rice, picks him up. Oh, big clothesline attempt. Doesn't knock Chris off his feet. And an atomic drop. Crystal very accomplished as a three-time HCW champion. Big chop right there in the cover. One kick out by Quinn Rice at one. Off that big chop. Just had such legendary feuds here in HCW against the likes of J.C. Baker. He retired Jacob Baker, the father of J.C. Baker. Jacob Lassiter, Colt Storm, Jordan Marks, and Austin Dynamo, among others here in HCW. In his long career here. He gets shot off into the ropes, and... Now Crystal takes back over with a snapmare. And he now works the arm of Quinn Rice. Big yank right there of the arm. If he's not careful, he could pop a shoulder out of the socket of Quinn Rice. And again, working that arm. Crystal's very methodical in his ways. And a big slam right there. Cover one. Two, three, he doesn't even need the Crystal Clary. He picks up the victory. Chris Crystal is victorious in his return to HCW, picking up the win over Quinn Rice. Congratulations, Chris Crystal. And Quinn Rice is hurt. Chris Crystal will pick up the victory. We'll be back after these messages, folks. I think Quinn Rice, oh wait. No, oh, what is that phone? We are sticking right here. An attack by Chris Crystal. What is he doing? Chris. Folks, we'll see him. We'll be back in a moment, folks. Oh, my God. Overhand punches by both and an uppercut. Gets him. Shot goes in. Rush to the front again. Score! Jenner, Jenner, SCORE! Jenner to Levi! SCORE! It's up one over the Manson, Manson, SCORE! No, Giordano is shy, SCORE! Brian! To Perron, SCORE! Over to Rust, Rust is shot, SCORE! Perron gets hit, gets over the Rust, Rust, SCORE! By himself, over to Giordano, SHOT, SCORE! Hey, 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 Kansas City! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to HCW. As we've got Ace Ellis in the ring now, as he'll be taking on the new Central States heavyweight champion, Scott Race here. Should be nothing short of a great match for Ace Ellis to show off what he can do against the Central States champion. And here comes that Central States champion right now. As he has had an excellent run here in HCW. There's a Central States champion, Scott Race. He defeated none other than AJ Dallas at the Great American Battle Royal to win that Central States Heavyweight Championship, which is well, it's clipping through his shirt. Scott Race still thinks that he can run for president in 2020. He is obviously delusional. However, I will say he did prove his seem to prove his point at the Great American Battle Royal, as he stated. AJ Dallas didn't deserve to be in the ring against him, and well, he kind of showed it, making quick work of AJ Dallas in our championship rules. Two falls out of three, and two consecutive falls, including making AJ Dallas tap out with the Louisville lock. 
So now Scott Race will see if he can make Ace Ellis fall to Louisville Lock here tonight. So he looks to improve to 3 and 0 here in HCW. Ace Ellis looks ready. Scott Race is ready. Referee John Hesch says, "Let's get it on." Here we go. Nice jab there by Scott Race immediately taking control of this match. And rams his opponent in the turnbuckle and throws him away like a sack of potatoes. A straight right hand. And there we go. We see Scott Race working the leg. Immediately setting up for that Louisville lock later on here in this match. Race picks him up. Oh, what a forearm by Ace Ellis. And now he takes control of the big neck breaker right there. Folks, just a reminder coming up, it'll be HCW Heavyweight Champion, J.C. Baker in action. And also in our main event of the evening, we will have Danny Fuller, the Phantom Danny Fuller, take on Zach Albright in a Battle of Missouri for the HCW YouTube Heavyweight Championship. Nice gut wrench suplex right there by Scott Race. So he's gonna go for the cover off of it. One, not even a one count. Good job there by Ace Ellis. Picks him up. What a sleeper hold is locked in and he's wrenching it. Hesh asking if he can continue. And a jawbreaker to get out of it by Ellis. Ace Ellis nicely done there. And a side rush and leg sweep. Ace Ellis lost in the KCPW tournament to determine the first ever KCPW champion. He lost to Peter Sinclair. And a big clothesline right there by Scott Race. Snap mare takedown and an elbow to the back of the head by Scott Race. Picks him up. And he will be going for a beautiful brain buster right there by Scott Race. And a reversal by Ellis. And a zigzag. Hey, Ellis mounting a comeback right now on the Central States champion. off into the ropes. Scott Race misses with the chop, but gets him with the eye rake. Come on, Scott, that's uncalled for. Race now puts him into the ropes. What is he doing here? Oh, Scott, no, no. Oh, my God. He may have just pulled his shoulder out of the socket. And another sleeper hold applied by Scott Race. Ellis has got to fight out of this one, I'm sure. Oh, he lets him go instead. I think he's just helping on making an example of Ace Ellis like he did to AJ Dallas at the Great American Battle Royal. Folks, remember the next HCW pay-per-view will be March Madness, which is a f about a month away. And oh, here we go. Shin breaker and a dragon screw by Scott Race. And he'll go for the cover off of it. Not even seeing if he doesn't even need Louisville lock. Two, three, he doesn't need the Louisville lock. Scott Race once again puts an opponent away with that move. He got a pin off it on AJ Dallas and he's undefeated here on HCW television here with that title. Scott Race once again victorious. Well done there by him and oh Scott not again, god damn it. He's just a kid, Scott. No, don't do it. God damn it, Scott. Why? Why? Folks, we'll be back after this despicable display. Hi, welcome back to Jim Marvel's Magnifo. As you can see here, we got this nice Ford Focus. And let me tell you, I sell honest prices at honest rates. Marvel's Motors gave me a great deal. Now, as you can see, we got this fine GMC truck here. We got all kinds of trucks. We got good trucks. We got bad trucks. I'm seeing this truck over here. I don't even know what that truck is. It looks like a fine piece of truck right there. Let me tell you, we got a lot of those here at Jim Marvel's Marvelville. Now, let me tell you something to finally wrap this up. Let me tell you about this Jeep right here. 
They got all kinds of Jeeps here. I'm gonna sell them like wildfire. I'm gonna sell them as much as I can. I don't care how much I price them, but I'm gonna sell them as fast and quick as I can. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to HCW. As Anthony Turner makes his way to the ring, making his HCW debut, and he has probably the toughest task that you can ask of a man making his debut as he takes on the HCW champion J.C. Baker the, ins the second generation sensation and it'll be a tall task for Anthony here but one I hope he is up for the challenge as here comes the HCW champion, J.C. Baker. J.C. Baker is prepped and ready. The HCW champion out of Jacksonville, Florida. His father is from Celebration, Florida. J.C. grew up in Jacksonville as his father toured around the United States and the mid to late 90s and early 2000s and also a little bit of the late 80s as well see JC Baker has followed in his father's footsteps and has vastly not done what his father had been able to accomplish in the wrestling business he is now, for the fourth time in his career, an HCW Heavyweight Champion, defeating Jordan Marks at the Great American Battle Royal. And again, folks, I'd like to thank you, thank our great sponsors, Royal Blues Bar and Grill, Cut Counseling, and of course, Jim Marvel's Marvelous Motorville. For everything here in HCW as we're ready to go. Anthony Turner versus JC Baker and Anthony Turner straight out the gate. Taking it right to JC Baker. JC Baker. Well, he gets caught again with the same move. Oh wow. JC Baker, of course, will be taking on Evan Flynn, who won the eight-man championship or the eight-man number one contenders match at Great American Battle Royal the side the number one contender for the HCW championship at March Madness. Baker won his match. And now he's getting the boots put to him. Be a little bit of fatigue. He did wrestle now three times in seven days. As Baker is flat on his back and Anthony Turner is doing a remarkable job here. But here comes a second generation sensation. Drop kick to the back. JC flips him back over. And he'll go for a side headlock and a headstand off of it. Beautifully done there by JC Baker. And the cover off of it. One. Only a one count. He was able to kick out to Anthony Turner. Baker picks Turner up. And a straight right hand. You might have heard his knuckles on that one. So he put some force behind that. And a neck snap. Beautifully done there by J.C. Baker. Oh, jumping clothesline connects. And an elbow drop to follow it up. Baker was trained by his father in Florida. As he has taken all of his learnings and expanded upon it exponentially. As Anthony Turner takes down Baker. Turner still alive in the KCPW tournament to decide a KCPW champion. Some more stomps as he will take on the another man who was here in HCW a few weeks ago. Superstar Kyle Smoke. He was on this program last week. Nice neck breaker right there, and Peter Sinclair will take on Brian Fuller. No relation to Danny Fuller in our main event here tonight. 
as it is the final or is the final four for that KCPW championship tournament. And we will actually have the coverage of KCBW's first major show, Kansas City Clash, here on this channel. You'll be able to see that. It'll unfortunately be under the KCPW banner. I don't think too many of you will argue with that as you'll get to see great young professional wrestlers such as Anthony Turner right here. As perhaps Anthony Turner will be vying for that KCPW Heavyweight Championship in that Kansas City Clash. Also, in the coming weeks, we will have a cover here by JC Baker. One, two, and kick out at two by Anthony Turner. We will also have in the coming weeks HCW stars who are on the road elsewhere. We'll bring you the second match of Colt Storm and Austin Star at Los Angeles Professional Wrestling. Also, we will have Scott Race when he goes to take on AAW champion Matt Caliber at Tennessee Wrestling Association's Memphis Massacre. Colt Storm, of course, taking on Hot Stuff Austin Starr for the second time. They fought in Amer the Great American Battle Royal, and now they will take each other on. And Hollywood Havoc, and here we go, J.C. Baker with a pile driver. We pin Anthony Turner off of it, the cover. One, two, three. J.C. Baker, the HCW Heavyweight Champion, picks up the victory over Anthony Turner. You see right there in the side headlock, J.C. Baker was in control of this match at the end when he needed to be. He was in trouble, however. J.C. Baker didn't even need the Baker Breaker to pick up the victory. As he will move on to 4-0 here in HCW. That's right, he's been on every single show HCW has done. He says he has to be if he wants to prove that he truly is a worthy champion here. So he picks up the win over Anthony Turner off the pile driver. Well done by JC Baker, the second generation sensation, with another victory here. And folks, coming up next after these commercials will be our main event, the Phantom Danny Fuller versus Zach Albright for the HCW YouTube Heavyweight Championship Stick around, you do not want to miss it. Welcome back to Jim Marvel's Marvel. As you can see here, we got this nice Ford Focus. And let me tell you, I sell honest prices at honest rates. Marvel's Motors gave me a great deal. Now, as you can see, we got this fine GMC truck here. We got all kinds of trucks. We got good trucks, we got bad trucks. I'm seeing this truck over here. I don't even know what that truck is. It looks like a fine piece of truck right there. Let me tell you, we got a lot of those here at Jim Marvel's Marvelville. Now, let me tell you something to finally wrap this up. Let me tell you about this Jeep right here. They got all kinds of Jeeps here. I'm gonna sell them like wildfire. I'm gonna sell them as much as I can. I don't care how much I price them, but I'm gonna sell them as fast and quick as I can. Honesty, integrity, client confidentiality. These are just some of the things that you here at Platt Counseling in Columbia, Missouri. Located at 65211 Sweet K here in Columbia, Missouri. We are willing to help you in any way that we can. So if you need to schedule an appointment, just dial this toll-free number 800-298-3950 to schedule an appointment today. Because at Platt Counseling, we care about our customers not about our customers' money.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to HCW as it's time for our main event. As here comes the Phantom, Danny Fuller, the former HCW YouTube champion. As he looks to regain his title, flanked by his manager Isaac Nelson, the Iron Man, Isaac Nelson. Right behind him. Let's see who picks up the victory here. And now Danny Fuller is looking to regain that title. He lost in shocking fashion. Great American Battle Royal. Again, the YouTube Championship is defended on every HCW show. Go, he looks ready. Now waits his opponent, the current HCW YouTube champion. And here comes Zach Albright. There he is, the native of Joplin, Missouri. He won the championship in incredible underdog fashion. He now defends his championship against the former champion. In less than one week, they will have had two matches against each other. And Zach is, said it was the greatest victory of his career. He's picked up no other championships until this one. He is fully ready to be a great YouTube heavyweight champion here in HCW, Heartland Championship Wrestling. A fan favorite here in Liberty. Remember, we are in the HCW Arena here in Liberty, Missouri. We thank the Scottish Rite Temple for letting us be at the last two television tapings as Danny Fuller's ready, Zach Albright's ready. 20 minutes on the clock. Here we go in this championship match. Big close line out of the start by the Phantom Danny Fuller. He has him up. Him around. Fuller still has control. Atomic drop connects. Picks Albright back up. He has a big backbreaker right there by Danny Fuller. Oh, and a big double axe handle. Oh, no reversal by Albright. One. Two, and a kick out at two. And that one was close. There has him up, Michinoku driver. Iron Man, uh, Isaac Nelson on the side over there, not happy that his man is now in trouble. Here's a big boot right there by Albright. Albright, the smaller man in this contest. Well, that head of hair definitely makes up for the lack of height. Here's he has him up in the torture rack position. He has him for the torture rack. Fuller easily gets out of it, however. Shoot him off into the corner. Fuller spins him around. Nice shot there by Fuller. What is he going for here? Fuller has him up. Oh no. Could it be a superplex off the top rope? Two minutes have elapsed here in this HCW YouTube Championship match. Remember, all championship matches here in HCW are on a 20 minute time limit. And you must get two out of three falls to either win or retain the title. Now Fuller raining down punches on the current HCW YouTube champion. Nice right hand right there by Fuller as he continues to pour it on Zach Albright. Right hand on the corner connects. Albright fights back, however. Suplex reversed by Danny Fuller. And a big wind-up uppercut connects. 
And Danny Fuller has obviously studied the tape of the match they had at Great American Battle Royal. And is looking to change that a bit here. And so here we go. Alabama Slamma. The cover by Danny Fuller. One, two, and a kick out at two by Zach Albright. Good news for Fuller. He's got a more devastating move built up, and here it is. Burning Hammer. One, two, three. The first fall belongs to Danny Fuller. Can either be one more fall by Fuller to win the match, or Albright can tie it with the next fall. We still have not seen the 417 leg drop. And a kick right there by Zach Albright. And a reversal by Fuller, much in the same way. And an elbow drop to follow it up. Four minutes elapsed here in this contest. And a reversal and a drop toe hold by Zach Albright. Albright will shoot him off into the corner. Takes control over. I wonder what he's going for here. Slingshot. No, he thought he was going for a slingshot suplex. So, oh, no, a drive-by kick after being hung up on the top rope. Zach Albright never ceases to amaze me in some of his unique offense that he comes up with after that DDT. Albright definitely wants to get back and control this match. back inside the ring. Takes control of the head of Fuller. Over the top rope. And he'll go to the outside. And three, John Hesch starts his count. Immediately broken up, however, by Zach Albright. Albright looks slightly gassed as he has him up for another torture rack as I don't know if he's going to get him able to tap out. Six minutes have elapsed here in this contest. Fuller fights out of it. Well, you can tell it's taking a toll on Fuller. Very much so. A kick to the gut. He's going to run his face against the ropes. And a big club and glow knocks down Zach Albright. And an elbow drop to follow it up. Albright in a bad way here. As more clubbing blows by the Phantom. Continue to break Zach Albright down. Oh, and bell clap. And then Fuller's biting him. Ruff, he's biting him. John Hesch doesn't see it and doesn't call it, therefore. A big knee lift right there by Danny Fuller. And he'll go for the cover off of it. One, two, three. Danny Fuller regains the YouTube championship as he just waltzed Zach Albright through Texas, or in this case, the state of Missouri, before putting him away. Right here you see the Alabama Slamma. A great move by Danny Fuller. However, it was not able to put Albright away. You see that big knee lift, and that is what put away Zach Albright. Danny Fuller regains the YouTube championship. In his mind, all is right with the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you for watching HCW Television. We'll see you next week. We will get the debut 
or should I say, the return of Harris Saban. Good night, everybody.